Hi Pisces. Your spread is extremely sunny, I have to say, compared to other signs. What a powerful full moon in Aries that we just passed. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It has to do with new beginnings, having the courage to be the pioneer, to face your destiny and move forward confidently. You have the sun, your immortal spirit, purpose and destiny is involved. Let that sun within you shine bright Pisces. Here, as you are tapping into your spiritual strength, you can overcome any obstacles. You have obstacles and challenges. By the way, number five is very significant. We have five, five, five here. So as you're going through financial and material changes, just stay focused. Just keep that center within that we've been talking about the last readings because there's positive movement forward here. Now you have the sun again in another deck, as well as the Union card for Twin Flames, Four of Wands, Foundation and Achievements, Happy Family, in two different decks as well. So here we're coming home. Happiness is ours. It's coming, Pisces. You're manifesting. You have the Magician in the Mirror. This could call to Twin Flame energy as well. But through wisdom, through the Hierophant energy, you can manifest. You are manifesting, whether you see it or not. So get ready. That's all I can say. But as we're heading now towards the eclipse season, season we have the new moon in Scorpio, which is going to be a solar eclipse on the 25th in two weeks. This Scorpionic energy is going to call to deep wounds, healing, looking, and what could we be looking at still, Pisces, is our very tumultuous emotional field within ourselves. You have here attachment and the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, all the attachments, the beliefs, the bondage that we have carried in the past. Moving forward, that no longer exists because we're going, we are getting into a higher state where we understand our emotions, but we don't believe we are them, right? So as we are here going through the eighth house, this transformational area of your life is about shared resources, intense emotions, you know, financial economy, the world economy is definitely changing um, at the rapid rate and unexpected events can happen and that could bring fear but don't fear Pisces because truly your spread as you is saying that as you step into here within that you connect that you don't stop believing that you don't stop trusting the divine you are going to be transforming into someone very abundant and very happy you have Karen, your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. You're a healer. You know, heal doesn't mean that you are uh, a teacher or that you do Reiki or energy healing or anything like that. You can be a healer just by being you, just by being present, just by shining the light within you, this central sun that is present in the universe, but is present within ourselves because we are the universe. So as you shine bright this third chakra, the solar plexus, this confidence, this brightness that you are, you're okay, Pisces. You gotta be fine. Now, as you keep your expectations positive, you have clarity here. And how do we do that? By stepping into our crown chakra, by doing what we do best, Pisces by being always focused, connected within and higher and deeper. You have the cosmos, creativity, vastness. Open this mind, get to the higher mind, the higher heart. As you do so, nothing can stop you. Now you have seen German here, karma releasing, move beyond drama. That could have been some drama, especially with Aries, the full moon, you know, emotions are at their high. But if someone tricked you or there's been, 
you know, whatever it has been happening around you. Just know that you need to create your own path. Make room for good energy. Whatever has been happening, you just move through it. You observe it, you notice you notice it, you learn from it. You don't point the finger at the other. You see what you can learn. You know, what was the mirror of that experience that is bringing you back to yourself? What can you see clearer in your life within you? So that you don't perhaps do the same mistakes or <clears throat> trust the wrong people. You know, it's not about saying, oh, you know, this person is bad or good, right? That would be the mind that would be judging. Let's go and get into this higher space where life is just happening. Oh, yeah, okay, this happened. It's not escaping from it. You look at it. You learn from it. But you don't get emotionally involved with it, right? And that brings us to faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm in all of this fire. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So whatever wrongs have been done to you, just see it as, again, this learning experience. It's not personal. It's not about that person or, you know, that situation. That happened for a reason. And it's always about how you can progress, how you can transform deeper and higher. Just being strong, spiritual strength, right? Staying strong within the, the waves, you stay here, clear. And you will get into the right partnerships. You have alliances here, community. The right people are coming your way, are already here, Pisces. Let's get into your tarot. Pisces, please. Whoops. That's a lot. We have the hangman. You're coming through yourself, Pisces. Yeah, you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're looking at everything. No, that's not possible. Three times. <laughs> magical. You are magical, Pisces. Four of Wands is coming through for the third time. And you have Four of Pentacles. So four, four, you know, stability. But before the, I talk about this, Eight of Wands, this is... Passionate messages is traveling, is rapid movement forward. We saw positive movement forward before. This is a lot of fire, a lot of passion. And it feels here that you are going to want to protect, you know, your, this happiness, this union. You know, the Four of Wands, again, is this union card and Twin Flame. It's happiness. It's happy family. And... You might get into this, I want to attach to that, right? I want, because, oh, it's so good, you know, and then there's the, the tendency to want to attach to it. Perhaps we need to be aware of that. But at the same time, perhaps, yeah, you have a small circle that you need to protect. Perhaps you need to protect this family of yours from outward circumstances that are not good for anyone. Let's see, what is this Four of Pentacles? But let's try to not hold on to anything. But perhaps just hold on to the perspective, the, the positive expectation of this is what will happen for me. Whatever happens emotionally, this will happen for me. I deserve this union. I deserve this beautiful love. I deserve this beautiful family. Yes, I can, I can, I can. The sun is mine. Mine, not in the egoic sense, but that I deserve to be, sh that my life shines in all of its aspects. My destiny, my purpose involves all of it also. It involves my emotional stability, uh, my family, finding the balance there. Judgment. Yeah, karma releasing. We saw that, right? You have, there's a call in the divine here, Queen of Cups is in reverse, calling to, yeah, you are the passionate, the, the passionate, but also compassionate queen, but perhaps you have to make, to be aware of that passion, right, that came through for a reason, because, you know, having your heart on your sleeve sometime, you know, compassion is not so much giving, 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 it's truly, once you are centered within you, then true giving happens freely, meaning that you don't give for the wrong reasons, for attachment, for bondage, to be people pleasing, pleaser, right? To have people 
love you back. You know, we always have to be careful to not fall back into that tendency. But the judgment here is calling for your compassion by for the power that you of your heart. It's not the heart drowning, it's the power of the true heart that you have. And that's also getting into the true judgment, which like we talked about, it's not about saying, oh, he's a bad person, he's a you know good person. It's about getting into that higher perspective here. And not holding on to the judgment itself, right? Not holding on to what you think. The mind will always try to do that. Yeah, Pisces, going to its common waters here. <laughs> we have the lovers here. Yeah, passionate relationship that is going towards common waters. Six of sword. We have the high priestess. How is it going towards common waters? Because you're staying focused within. This is only a way that it can work. If you fall back into the attachment, into giving your power away because you compromise too much or you lose yourself, then no. But this is moving higher than the drama, like we saw before. Five of Wands, this is a lot of drama around you. Ah, and Three of Swords. So all of this drama, jealousy, competition, comp comparing yourself this you letting go of it right you're going towards common waters because you're getting into your spiritual center the higher connection the higher perspective getting out of the drama of the street love <laughs> what we've been conditioned to believe is a relationship you're going higher than that. Right? The Hierophant, again, spiritual wisdom. This will bring you through all of this nonsense. Defending yourself, Seven of Wands. Strength. Stay within here this bubble this invisible bubble needs to always be clear you can move through the the filth through the mud like the lotus but stay pure the mud of your own emotions of other people's emotions doesn't exist because you're here. Okay. So, Pisces, I love you. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you very soon. Take care.